Hello and welcome to the first ever episode of Quit or Continue, the show that pokes a finger in the eye. Stop giggling at the back. There's, there's, <laughs> you guys suck. This is the first episode and you guys are already ruining it's good, it. It's loose. Yeah, yeah. Pokes All right, it's, it's, it's the we're show poking, that pokes a finger in the All right, we're rolling with this. We're keeping this in. Uh, okay, we're keeping this right. in. It pokes a finger in the eye of games that waste your time. That's what it does. Shut up. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's poke away. All right. <laughs> to my left. Hello. My and, name is. Well, oh, I was going to introduce. Oh, you. I've, got, I've got introductions for you. Don't worry about that. Oh, this, cool. this one. Jesus. This okay. one. <laughs> this, Organized. If you played Borderlands, you can be handsome Jack Turner. Brilliant. I'll okay. take it. Okay. I was going to call you. Handsome Dave Whiteman. <laughs> You'd be lucky. Dangerous, Dave. Oh, yeah. Well, and that's, then, that's a fat comment if ever I heard unfortunately, it. Unfortunately, Andy's had to shave very recently because he was going to be a hobo. But we'll have to settle from the rough streets of Sheffield <laughs> with Andy Lachlan. Yeah, and I... <laughs> I don't think I've introduced myself. I am Mike Plant. So, I don't get an introduction because I've introduced myself. So that would be a bit I don't need one, do you? Everybody knows vain. you are. That would be yeah. vain. The eye poker. So, um, <laughs> why are we here? Anyone start us off? That's a big what question. What are we doing? What, what is Quasar what what Continue? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> well, it is basically a book club for games. So we've all heard of book clubs. We all, all read uh, Emily Bronte and talk about it. <laughs> I don't really want to read Emily Bronte. or Well, maybe I will, but not, not right now. Uh, so we play games and we talk about it and we share our feelings or something like that. Feelings. I'm not going to share my feelings. No, but, do um, we not? Well, I might give out some kind of emotion. Well, yeah. it depends what the game is. Yeah. Or, or we just have a massive fight, which is possible. So mm. If you know, we do marry our own peach, she's been kidnapped by Bowser, then yeah. that might, it might start getting quite emotional. Well, we'll your parents. But, um, yeah. But basically, so we're here to try and steer you away from crap games, yeah. basically, because we've all got no time on our hands. We have, I don't know, families and girlfriends apart from Andy. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I just put that out straight away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and basically, we're all, we, don't, don't, we, we, all we all work. We all work. <laughs> we're, all, we're all losers. Yeah. We all work. Yeah. And um, yeah, so basically, none of us want to waste our time playing shit games. No. But we all want to waste our time playing good games. Yeah. I think. But the thing is, unfortunately, the way the setup is, is that we are still going to be wasting our time playing shit games. Yeah. That is true. <laughs> uh, yeah, but, but, but that yeah, is for very the people true. who can't, uh, you know. That is it's very like true. a public service. <laughs> which leads <laughs> us swiftly on <laughs> to the game we chose this week, which was Emily. No, it wasn't Emily. Wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Emily Bronte's worst <laughs> time in New York. <laughs> she's uh, back with a vengeance. Oh, so, dear God. And uh, she's made a game when, let's face it, this is not a spoiler, but there will be spoilers, yeah. uh, Nazis rule the world. Shall we just say that right now? That, that, this, is a, this is like, as you say, it's a book club. If yeah. you come into a book club, you would talk about the plot. So we are going to yeah. talk about the plot. It does not matter about uh, talking about that with Wolfenstein because, but, frankly, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it also, doesn't matter. I mean, come on, everyone knows the Nazis don't win. Yeah, so it's not yeah. much of a spoiler, really. Is Although, it? in this spoiler alert, not they book, have the actually book, won. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a fair point. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, this, this Hang really... on, what was this game again? <laughs> well, I don't was know. Was I it's... supposed to play this for I, now? There was people <laughs> shooting. The amount dogs. of people who are asking. What if the Nazis did win? What if this uh, yes. has pretty much answered the question? And what an original yeah. premise that is. No one's asked that question <laughs> yeah. before. Basically, the Americans <laughs> sort it out as, uh, as they, they should they do. I was quite excited for this premise. I remember seeing, you remember Turning Point Fall of Liberty? You remember that game when I saw it with your guy comes over and it's all like the blues. Oh, man, I'm America. Mm. And I thought, wow, that's a great. It turned out to be an awful bloody game. Yeah. So I thought, okay, this one looks interesting. Um... And I had quite high hopes for it, to be perfectly honest. I thought the premise was all right, you know. Wolf, Wolfenstein. The, this one, the one we're yeah, talking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, not to <laughs> I know, I, you start yeah. talking about something, ah, I thought, back in the room. Hello, hello. Uh, yeah, no, I, yeah, I, I agree, actually. I, yeah, I, I had in quite... context on the end of the game. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, no, I had, I had quite high hopes for this as well, and I... Um, yeah, it scored well. Like when it came out, it did. everyone seemed to say. I mean, I, I looked at a few scores. Uh, like IGN gave it a, like a seven point something. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Edge, I think, gave it a. I mean, I've got some quotes and reviews. We'll maybe talk about yeah, those a bit later. But a lot of comments online like, as well. Loads of people saying, "Oh, it's a, it's, yeah, it's a great game." Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sat there thinking, "Oh, it's, it's going to be awesome." Like I was actually thinking of picking it up regardless of this show because I yeah. thought, you know, I've got a PS4. There's not that much on it. Why not pick it up? But, I think the the issue is is like. 
there is a kernel of a good game in there, and I think we've all kind of seen that. It's just um, it's wrapped in layers of well, sort of refuse, effectively. <laughs> well, I think I think to be fair, I think some of us liked it more than others. Yeah. Is that true? Well, is, that, is that right? I dangerous Jack or whatever. Uh, handsome, uh, handsome, handsome, handsome Jack. Dangerous oh, right. Dave. I'm Dangerous Dave. Your yeah, yeah, hobo Andy. Trade descriptions. Know <laughs> <Yeah. out>. your <laughs> place. Know your place. Hobo Hello, single Andy. Andy. <laughs> nice one. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks yeah. Like that. yeah. But I think I think also people are just like kind of hungry for a good single player FPS, you know, campaign. Yeah. Yeah, because well, yeah, got so gone. Well, there's a lot of crap out there. <laughs> well, I, uh, I also think there's a lot of um, first-person shooters coming out as well, but they're so pushed at multiplayer. Yeah, yeah, totally. and, and this doesn't have any multiplayer on it at all. Which is yeah. a refreshing change. I mean, I hate yeah. it when games come out and they've just got tacked on multiplayer. But it's completely pointless. It happens yeah. so often. Well, I look at all of duties as well. I just kind of think that the single player in that is pretty much. There's not really any point in playing it. It's just. It's, yeah, they're, they're pushing multiplayer. That's yeah. It's like the it's, opposite it's the of, a, of, a, of, a, of a Call of Duty in a way, where they've yeah, gone yeah. all out, balls out. We're gonna we're gonna lay it on the table. We're gonna get like our solo campaign, but then they kind of deliver. But I mean, the like, story. But how, how long do you reckon this the campaign? I reckon it's at least about ten or twelve hours. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did so you all play on normal, 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 oh, whatever, whatever yeah. it's called? Begin with, yeah, yeah. So it's Up called. Oh, what's it called? So it's got the old school. It's three um, yeah. items. Yeah. Hurt, yeah. Yeah. Hurt me plenty was it was normal. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt I did the daddy. default one anyway. Yeah. Then there's Uber. Do you know about Uber? You have to unlock it using the Enigma oh, yeah, codes, yeah. and it means what? it's really, really difficult, and then there's an even harder mode where you have to play on Uber mode, and you can only die once, or it resets you well, to the start of the game. Well, that's never going to happen. Uh, no, yeah. that's ridiculous. So I, I, play, I played it on the, um, the, the normal, what, was that Hurt Me Plenty? I can't remember. No, no, it's, it's Bring It On. Bring, bring it on. on, Bring It On, Bring On, that sounds yeah. like my kind of I've thing. Won. So I, I played on the, um, Bring It On until it's I got to race, about... Mike. <laughs> <laughs> until I got to put it on your head. That's what my alcoholic father told me. <laughs> that's recorded for <laughs> prosperity. Hey, hey, hey. Um, he's not an alcoholic. So... <laughs> <laughs> so I played it on normal, whatever that mode was, up until about chapter 14. So it's about 16 chapters in total. And I kept getting hammered. It was like yeah. one in the morning. I thought, you know, I've got stuff to do with my life. So I put it down a notch or two and I breezed through it. It was piece well, of piss. Also, <laughs> no, Why also, do you do it at 1 a.m.? There, there is a point with games as well. Like, I think you you can challenge yourself, but then you've played the same bit. God yeah. knows how many times. And you think, well, I'm actually now not enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, I think totally, I'm yeah. playing this to enjoy it. And... You know, I'll put it on a slightly easier mode just to I, get past I it. I feel like there's too. a stigma attached to difficulty modes in games, and if you don't play yeah. it on at least normal, then you haven't played it properly. But you know, we've got things to do. With yeah. We're busy people. Yeah, no, I actually agree I with that because so. this is yeah, it's, there is a stigma attached because I felt a bit embarrassed by putting on the no, I didn't put it on mm. the easiest. But you know, by make, making it a bit easier because I kind of think, well, I haven't really got time to complete this otherwise, um, and I'm sure it's not that much easier. I'm sure. You know, I'm sure. But, it's still I think the, there is there is a thing with this game though. I think that it 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 feels harder than it needs to be and I think that's the way they've designed it like there's so many times where you feel that the game is cheaply killing you like I mean how many times do you get basically a cutscene chucked into a dead end and then suddenly half the Nazi <laughs> war machine is there, there just was, firing squad in you. There was one bit where I think there's just two robots, two robots just come out at you at the same yeah, time yeah, yeah. and just chase you around and they're pretty much invulnerable. You have to get behind them to kill them. That's quite because early Because there's two well. of them, it's yeah, almost yeah. impossible to get behind yeah. one without the other one getting you. So I was just there. Uh, and uh, and, yeah, and yeah. like the, the, the AI in the game is basically idiot or super marksman. You know, it, like if they see you, they will shoot you from about four miles. Yeah. But you can shoot a guy in the head, like with another guy here just sort of standing there, and he's like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, okay, not, oh, I don't, nothing going well, wrong. They have those weird kind of stealth sections where you're you're supposed to go, like when they have the commanders, and you've got this thing saying you, the commander's 14 meters away, and you've got to kind of yeah, get to yeah. him before. And the point is there, if you kill him before he sees you, you stop reinforcements coming in and all this kind of stuff. But to get to him without being seen is nigh on impossible. Oh, with the guy with up. the commander thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In yeah. the end, I was just like, so this, I'll just shoot everybody. And I think you're supposed to stealth kill them from behind, so you get like a bonus or something. But yeah, I just basically yeah. just got my silence pistol and just killed them all. Can I just and talk just about kind of broke the game that way? The stealth kill system. Yeah. That bugged the shit out. It really? Yeah. Why? I think the thing that annoyed me the most about it is they'd obviously they they designed it. They certainly designed certain levels to be so focused on stealth. And you think, well, if you're going to do that, then your stealth system needs to be, per- well, not perfect. It, well, it doesn't Pretty be perfect. Good. It needs to be yeah, good. Yeah. And I found myself so many times where I'd, I'd you know, s- sneak up to this German soldier. It's actually very easy to sneak up to a German soldier. They yeah. are deaf. Pretty uh, much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Post, deaf as a post. You could run up to a German soldier and stand behind him for a few minutes. But then you press the R3 button and 
you'd either move it ever so slightly and all that kind of that happened every now and then. And then what I'd do is I'd end up taking a swipe with my knife. Just knocking him on the shoulder, and then he turned around and gunned me in the face. Yes. Oh, yeah. Gunned this guy in the <laughs> yeah, face, yeah, yeah. and I'd be like, "Oh, for fuck's sake!" Because I've, I've yeah, just, yeah. I've just done like all my stealth killing, and it's not like I've now got to a certain point and stealth. I've now got to do the whole, that yeah. whole section. Yeah. Well, one, stealth killing. One of the bits I've written down in my notepad of things is just fucking checkpoints. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With three exclamation marks after it, because basically I've done bits where it literally has you kill about fifty guys, yeah, and then yeah. the fifty-first guy kills you, and then you have to start from scratch again. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Love of and I tell you what, holding. also really annoys me. And this is this is a wider thing in games. Um, is when the soldiers are there and they just keep shouting stuff at you. And you're like, I'm going to gut you with a knife, <laughs> and then they run out and you shoot them in the face. If I was the commander of that platoon, I'd say, right, you only say a smart, key you know, passive aggressive <laughs> comment when you either sh- about to shoot them in the face or you have shot them in the face. If I hear anybody That's make fair. make a smart, key comment when they they don't have a confirmed kill. Your that's gross because of course the Nazis are known for their humour as well. On a a verbal team. warning, sir. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, they've paid those voice artists by the hour. You know, the, 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 like once you got past Schnell, Actung, I mean, well, you know, fifty minutes left. I don't know. Just do some do some banter. It's like um, we played. Oh, I can't remember what Splinter Cell. It might be Conviction. But there's a point where you basically kill all the blokes at an air, airport, yeah. and then you go to a later level, and all these enemies are walking around saying, "I know what you did at the airport, Fisher," and it's just like ridiculous. <laughs> I know what you did at the airport. It's like that <laughs> rubbish horror movie, isn't it? Yeah. I got a plane. You. Yeah, and I bought some duty free. You bought some Haribo sweets <laughs> and Didn't had a beer. Your teeth, Fisher. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, but I mean, I think you know all those things were really annoying. But I must admit, I have missed dual wheel guns. I mean, dual wheel shotguns. That is the still the daddy, isn't it? I hated yeah, the dual wheel system. Really? I, I, how can you I like aiming that? down the sights for some reason, and you can't I mean, do that. I can with... fire two guns at once. I mean, how is that bad? I did a lot of my killing from a distance, though, and I felt like it was quite hard to aim. I'd like and... to get up close and personal and <laughs> see the whites of their eyes, and then I'll give them a smart <laughs> <alky> comment. <laughs> I also didn't really use the shotguns much, so maybe <laughs> I was missing out on like this. So... I mean, one of the nice things about this game is you can run and gun. There's a mm. cover system, and in the first level they show you how to use the cover system because you've got, you've got to duck to look through the door and shoot the Nazi guy yeah. oh, and yeah. I after that I completely forgot about the cover I literally system. used that at that, that yeah. point and that's, exactly. that's all I did and then after yeah, I played through the whole itself. game then I went back to the first level again and it doesn't give you the instructions of how to do it the second time round because it thinks oh you've played it you know uh, and I was okay. stuck in this room thinking what the hell do I do now <laughs> yeah. you've got to hold down L1 to sort of peek around yeah and you but, can do it with a card but it's quite refreshing it's quite old school being able to just run around I actually, yeah, I, I actually people. thought that um, leaning and all that kind of stuff was actually really good. I, I, I really, didn't, I didn't use it enough. It. Mm. I did use it a bit. I didn't use it enough. But in terms of like, but I think the reason for that is because I've played so many first-person shooters. We haven't needed mm. to use that kind of thing, and and I think implementing that is actually quite a quite a nice thing to have done. And I actually thought that, yeah. that opens up a different way of playing, and it it, it could have. I think it could have worked a lot better. And the fact that the, the Nazis were so easy to kill, yeah. made it even better that you could just sort of lean out, gun a few down, and then. There is, there is something quite... I actually, I, yeah. I quite like that. But, um. but the thing, I, mean, I think the playing styles thing, this game just doesn't get it. You know, it's like, it, I never felt like I was, you know, kind of had all the theatre of, of of doing whatever I wanted. It was always like, okay, I've tried a few things. It's not worked. And I'm just basically shooting for dear life, you know. There's, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. They, they run around. You know, sometimes it gives you like a sentry tour or something, but then inevitably they'll throw like one of those grenades that shorts it out. Yeah, anyway, yeah. So you're kind of just going, oh, for God's sake. I'll just, so I'll just stand somewhere where they can't all get me at once. A bit yeah. like the 300. Funnel them down and just keep, <laughs> yeah. just keep getting. Yeah, there, there was times when I was just like, I found a spot where the guy couldn't shoot me. And I just kept, you know, the robot guys. Yeah. And I just found a little pot and I just spent about ten minutes going, pow, 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 <laughs> recharge, pow, pow. I was thinking, mm. this is rubbish. I did, that, I did that on the on the bridge, you know, that bridge level. Which oh, is kind of, that's kind yeah. of like, remind me oh. of uh, Half Life Two, that bridge level. Mm. But there's a robot a, guy. Kind of robot guys are sort of complete bastards because yeah. basically you're mowing down all these Nazis. Then a robot guy will come along and spoil all the fun because he takes all your like bullets. Yeah, every bullet. Yeah, yeah. It's just yeah. like, oh, and he was like coming down a corridor, and I would just peek around the corridor, shoot him, peek back, and he shoots. Peek, and it took about ten minutes. Like you say, it took about ten yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you I can felt, get felt them with the laser beams if you, you know that laser beam gun you get. Yeah, but yeah. okay. So one of the problems 
I had with this game was the, the ammo system because the energy weapons were just, they were good for about three or four shots and then you had to go and recharge at the yeah. uh, point on the wall. But you get the auto recharge, or you do not get that. I think it's one of the perks, eventually it just auto recharges. Really? There's a perk I system in this game, which I, <laughs> I barely <laughs> registered the perk system, the if perk, I am honest. Uh, the perk system but. was really cool if you took the time to look at it. I unlocked some stuff just by chance and one of them happened to be that. I don't know what I did to, to oh, make man, myself so awesome. So good. That would have been really uh, handy. Man. Is this yeah, why I could yeah, finish yeah, it on yeah, normal yeah. and no one else could? Well, well, I think the whole mechanics of the... I mean, we all pretty much hated the, the weapon wheel, didn't we? The, uh, yeah, the weapon oh, wheel the was weapon just... Wheel the most, wow. that so, so, yeah, so should we explain? So basically, it brings up a radius and you use the analog stick to go to whatever gun you want. And then it needs so much precision that when you finally let go, oh, yeah. it jumps. Yeah. And then you kind of... So basically, you've got a Nazi coming up to you. And then you get out like a flag or something, and like, <laughs> you, know you hold your cock in your hand. <laughs> Stern language. And that wasn't actually the only thing that annoyed me, but switching weapons in general. Like, you'd say, now maybe it was me just being a bit unrealistic, but I, I actually wanted him to be able to hold a shotgun and, uh, and like a machine well, like, gun. At yeah, the same so time. Master Chief can do that on Halo yeah, 2, yeah, and yeah. That's, so, like, that's been done, yeah. But yeah. at the same time, like, you'd press like the triangle or whatever to do the quick switch weapons and stuff like that, and he'd always go to something crap like that. Well, like the laser gun, which then wouldn't be set to shoot, it'd be set to, yeah, to open up some cans. To really annoy somebody yeah, 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 in yeah, the yeah. face, like yeah, 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 <laughs> I will send your beard, sir. I found that so irritating because I thought, well, the amount of times I died like that. I, th I think I don't mind if I die if I die because I'm you know outgunned in some way, but the yeah. amount of times I died because of just infuriating yeah, things totally, like that. Totally. I think that's no, really absolutely. I mean, a lot of the thing was just it was trial and error, wasn't it? Situations like yeah. oh I've done that, didn't work, right? Go again. Oh that didn't work again. It's like <laughs> it feel like kind of. <laughs> It just feels like an ordeal, you know. I don't mind a challenge, but this felt like an ordeal. Yeah, by the end, I mean, we can spoil. There's the end. You fight a big. Like, if anyone's played Wolfenstein 3D, it's pretty obvious at the end you fight a big mechanized man because yeah, that's what happens famously be, yeah. in Wolfenstein 3D. But it's a slightly different guy. It's not Hitler. Maybe we should talk about why. In fact, we should talk about the plot in a minute. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, just one more thing on the weapons. <laughs> um, I thought it was quite refreshing that you could pick up more than two weapons. So yeah. in some games, you can you have to choose which weapon you want to pick up. And you could pick up anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that was quite yeah. nice. Oh, that's yeah, cool, yeah. Just, That I, was I, a throwback to the I, didn't, I actually didn't notice that for quite a while in the game. <laughs> so I was like there, like... Because I actually don't think there was any kind of instruction for the weapon wheel. So unless you no, sort of, like, no. you, you sort of come across it by pressing the shoulder. <laughs> well. And so I was like there, like, just, you know, gunning people down and things. And then I'd end up with some pistol and then, you know... And so it, it took me a while to go, oh, you know what? I've got loads of guns. I've <laughs> <laughs> so got a backpack full of guns. You've yeah. got a little pistol. Yeah. 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 what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Why, are you, why are you chasing me with that knife? <laughs> this guy's absolutely <laughs> tooled up. Yeah. I, mean, I, mean, I, I like that because in some games you can only carry two weapons at a time. Yeah. Um, and so you, you come across a scenario where you've got to pick up a weapon and you think, well, I don't know what's coming up. Yeah, so I pick uh, a rocket yeah, yeah. launcher or a shotgun. I don't. You pick up whatever it's forcing yeah. itself upon you. Because basically, in those games, if there's an RPG, like you know, for the rocket launcher, there, you kind of know there's a tank around the corner. Or yeah, something. Whereas yeah. this, I don't know, this game, at least you get to pick everything. And but, by the time you get the rocket launcher, you're actually pretty quid quids in by that point. Yeah, so, but this game doesn't it doesn't explain anything particularly well. I mean, like I talked to you about the, the, the thing where you you run for the there's a section where you run for a helicopter and you do this jump. <laughs> the, the loads of times I was like, why can't I reach a bloody helicopter? And you can't do it while you're holding two weapons at once. <laughs> you know, so but. There's nothing to say, like, don't hold two it's, weapons at once. It slows once. you down a bit, like, you might. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, you obviously, you've got maybe. Them in, the ba in your backpack, anyway. <laughs> so it's kind yeah, of like, I've got, like, right. I've got <laughs> half, <laughs> half a blooming US military we, on my right, back. We, we talked about this, actually, where it makes you go around and physically press a button oh, to pick up man. every fucking, and I'm saying that with <laughs> emphasis this time, bit of, like, armor and oh, ammo man. and crap that's on the floor. Just the worst. And yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. also the reload button, so you end up reloading at the same time as picking stuff up and there's yeah, people getting a yeah. drop on you and it's just like a basic nightmare. The thing I don't get about that is like the devs when they're making the game must have they all play it like constantly they must have thought you know what guys I'm really, really fucking really tired of picking up this fucking yeah. ammo yeah. <laughs> yeah, and yet yeah. not one of them did it they just <laughs> yeah. thought you know what we'll keep that in there because it, it's I wonder if they put these these bits in obviously to make it a bit more challenging and all that kind of stuff I, 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 that was just irritating. I can only think that the devs were in some sort of like thumb wrestling league and they were <laughs> yeah. their thumbs as much as possible to make them as strong as possible. Yeah. Like, we should get to test should we get some sadomasochists in? <laughs> yeah, let's, yeah, let's get old Boris Big Thumbs in. Yeah, yeah. But, but it, yeah, it was, it, that guy it who nails his cock to a board. Let's get him. <laughs> He's got but, a good tolerance. But you're totally right. I mean, it was just so frustrating. And it's such a, I was going to say a throwback, but I went back and played all the, well, not 
No, I tried all the old Wolfenstein games and <laughs> played through all of them. But, um, you know, 3D, Return to Castle Wolfenstein, the reboot from 2009. In all those, you walk over ammo, you walk over guns, you pick them up automatically. Mm. So I can't understand why suddenly they went, hang on, let's make people pick them up. Although, it did make a really satisfying sort of yeah. noise when you picked yeah, up yeah. They, they suck us in with that don't they, they do. I really want to hear that satis- noise satisfying noise because yeah. they do make me do things like, can they that. do that automatically it's like do you want some ammo of course I want some ammo I'm going to want some ammo let's just pretend like you know without any knowledge of me I'm going to want some ammo in this game you know, <laughs> if there's health available I'm going to want it <laughs> and if, I, if I'm a maximum I, I leave it we'll leave it yeah. <laughs> I don't understand, I don't understand what the maximum ammo means so he's got it's like you never see Arnie in Predator or something go actually fuck oh, it God, I can't carry all this stuff yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What I would love, I've what I would actually, back. I would love to see. Armor. So this game, right? You pick up bits of robots. You pick up, and that's armor. You pick up just helmets. I'd love to see it go suddenly to third person, and he's wearing like twenty SS helmets and like bits yeah. of robots. I mean, just... he already looks like a side of ham. Exactly. <laughs> just random shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love that with a gaffer tape. Like guys, there's a pot of bad robot outside. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Michael J. Fox in Back to the Future. He's got this breastplate underneath his T-shirt. And so, oh, Jesus. But, I mean, we've got to talk about this guy because, I mean... BJ. BJ. BJ Vasquez. Good old blowjob Blaskovic. Yeah, yeah. I, th- I do feel at some point, by the way, we need to give it some positives because actually I'm not yeah. as negative about no. this, this game. <laughs> <laughs> so far, I'm this out. I, feel, I, feel like, I feel like Dave and I enjoyed it more than you two. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I enjoyed I it in not part. It. I enjoyed it in part. It reminds me a lot of like the old Medal of Honor games actually and they were exactly the same you had to pick everything up it's like hardly any health it's like oh you get through a sequence oh no I've died it's really annoying and I really enjoyed those games and there was parts of this that really I enjoyed too but I think when I played Medal of Honor games uh, the early ones not the new ones I kind of hadn't played newer games I hadn't seen like the possibilities you know <laughs> like, my eyes hadn't been opened uh, I, not that all first person shooters are great at the moment there's a lot of well no there's a lot of crap there, but, but if, you, if you play something like <laughs> oh you know, don't diss the destiny no yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not quite with you on destiny but I am nearly with you yeah. on destiny yeah. I, 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 it, I, it's got issues it's definitely, definitely got issues yeah. but the thing is like you know there were things in this game which were just like this is brainless basically this is uh. just stupid design decisions that you you know you shouldn't have made and it actually ruined my during the game because there's parts that I really like I personally like having two shotguns and firing at once but that's just me uh, if you like that sort of thing you probably will enjoy this game um, but you know I think there was there was some interesting things it's a really good long campaign it's quite interesting I mean I think for me probably the last name in the coffin was I got to the end and I basically didn't care if any of them were dead. <laughs> I, I, got, I got totally confused by the story. So to start with, I was following it quite. Oh closely. yeah, there's a story. There is a story. <laughs> there is a story. <laughs> so <laughs> somewhere in there. So, so obviously, spoiler alerts, but that's been the theme throughout this whole podcast. But <laughs> yeah. so sorry for that. So you go back to the. So throughout the game, you go back to the base where you're situated and you kind of do like little odd jobs there. Like, like, yeah, like, so yeah. they have a little yeah. hub, don't it's you? Like the resistance is the resistance B and B in, in Berlin. Like, um, yeah. Imagine like LOLO. Yeah. 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 It's very similar. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. Just, yeah. pretty much just as funny. <laughs> but so, 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 throughout, <laughs> so throughout the game, apologies yeah. to our American audience who <laughs> 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 have no idea what we're talking about. She's watching. It's very so good. Throughout the game, you go back and back to this hub. And then um, towards the end of the game, it gets uh, stormed by the horrible Nazis. They're pretty bad, aren't they, the Nazis? Oh, yeah. oh really turn me off them. Oh, yeah. they're, they're nasty chaps. Oh, and that, that woman, whatever she's called, Frau Engelbert oh, or something. Yeah. Like, she's like Engel. Engelbert Humperdinck. Yeah, yeah. She's, uh, she's horrible. <laughs> I have in the house, Not really frankly. Engelbert Humperdinck, by the way, if he's litigious. <laughs> yeah, Sorry, what, what were we saying about the plot? That's <laughs> so, <to you. laughs> so um, oh, crap, I've totally forgotten. Can yeah. talk about... <sighs> Let's talk yeah. about the sex scene. I'll come back to it. Yeah. <laughs> Hold that point, Jack. Yeah, yeah. Let's totally talk about. It. Let's talk about sex. I don't know if it was thrown in, so it's like a mature game or something. Or I don't know. I don't. So this guy Blaskovich has basically been in a coma for fifteen years. Comes out of it looking like a brick shit. Hasn't, hasn't aged. Hasn't aged. Penis I mean, still works. You know. Penis he is, still works. He's, he's like Peter Andre. And the girl who's been looking after him, he just happens to be a little like. I don't know. Attractive Polish woman. Attractive Polish, semi-attractive yeah. Polish woman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not to judge her too harsh. <laughs> I, I don't really get. I don't get <laughs> that attracted part. to in-game characters, Dave. Uh, I'm not that. I'm not that kind of guy. What can well, I say? You know, There's I only Miss Pac-Man kind of who does it for me. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I think for me that that kind of stuff. Um, it it they couldn't find the line between serious and. A comedy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah, actually, yeah. I actually Absolutely. felt like as soon as those moments came about, because the, the sex scene was a bit 
two, oh, two sex scenes. Two sex scenes. Oh, sorry, the two yeah, sex scenes. Yeah, they yeah. were a bit comedic. And certainly the second one was very, very much like there was a yeah, joke yeah. on the fact, oh, these guys are constantly yeah. having sex in this, this room. But And they just couldn't quite get that line because it, it felt like it, when it started, the story started and I actually felt like there was a serious element to it and the, the music behind it, it was sort of driving. And, there was a, and I actually thought, you know, I reckon this is going to be quite good. I reckon they're going to take this, you know, Wolfenstein's never been serious or it's never been quite that kind of, it's been a bit sci-fi, all that kind of stuff. But maybe they're going to find that edge and it's going to be cool. Yeah. But then they do that kind of stuff and they sort of draw you out of the seriousness and it's, it becomes a bit of a joke, but not a funny joke and just a bit of a crap joke. And then you start thinking, well, I'm, I'm less involved in the characters now mm. and I'm less kind of interested. Like you say, you don't give a crap if uh, they die at the end because yeah. they're, just, they're just these kind of wooden people that, you know... It doesn't matter who wins. There's also a really, yeah. there's It'd be a dumb... more interesting if the Nazis had won it, actually. Well, yeah, and there's, a, there's a really... Con- <laughs> well, like, <laughs> you you did it. Again, you did it first. The thing is, as well, you've got, to, you've got to say what the impact of his actions are in the game because it's literally yeah. one little building he that he guy. takes out. He killed one guy. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, a load of, and a load of, like, sort of yeah. as, as, uh, as, uh, Austin Powers-style um, kind of, like, just yeah, like henchmen. people who henchmen. That's yeah. what I'm looking you know, for. Yeah. You know, it's like this is a game about Nazis where Hitler is not mentioned. Yeah, Hitler's not in it once. Yeah. I mean, he was away that week. But this, yeah. but the thing There's not even is, a statue yeah, of his moustache on it. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> he was on a training weekend or something. I mean, who knows? <laughs> but they could have made it not Nazis altogether. Like it was, it was very. I think that was for me the could only thing that anything, came away from it. Wolfenstein because Wolfenstein's always been very Nazi Hitler orientated, and there was something about that that was charming. I think charming the right word to use, but there was something in there. Was something that was very, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I This man does not I don't, speak I don't, I don't, I don't find I don't find the Nazis charming. Um, no, but there was something about the Wolfenstein. It, I, always, I always go back to... Um, digging. Uh, <laughs> the very first Wolfenstein when I was a kid, there was all the kind of you got swastikas hanging down on the thing, and it was yeah. there was something this about your childhood. <laughs> it was all, yeah. Just a normal Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even playing the game at this point. Um, <laughs> then there was always something, there was something about that, that, were, that you know that was very Wolfenstein. Whereas this, you, they've just given them German accents, as yeah. far as I'm concerned. Yeah. It's not, they're not like you're not really like storming the Nazi gates and all that kind of stuff. There's nothing about that. It was just kind of like. You know, you're, you're destroying any old. Yeah. You know, and they've, 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 it's been like 15 years since the war, right? So it's 15 years after, and what they've done is just build a load of buildings out of concrete. Crap concrete. Yeah. Crap yeah. coldy yeah. concrete. And they're yeah. still Spoilers. like absolutely nutters. <laughs> yeah, it's 15 years since the war. They haven't like built a sort of new world. They've just kind of like. They focused on like putting men in machine suits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Let's like, like, not develop bits know. of men's brains into robots. Yeah. 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 And dogs into thing. little suits, which are quite Thing that actually crossed my mind, even when I was playing the game, I wasn't thinking. I, I, I thought to myself, "Well, since the Nazis won, what jobs have they created? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bar soldiers, dear Nazi party, where do you get off?" <laughs> so, if they're so, like, so they've, they've, they've won the war, they've taken over, they're, they're flipping everywhere. Why are they patrolling every single corridor? Surely they're going, you know what? Let's just sit back and play foosball. And also, uh, spoiler alert, they're patrolling on the moon, for God's sake. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> why are they doing that? Oh, I man. Mean, oh, we better watch out. That, just in case. that was definitely the point the game lost me. Like, as soon as they go to the moon. And you get Moonraker style like laser guns yeah, at that point, yeah. too. You're just like, what the hell is this happening? You've gone, you've gone into. Well, the thing is, it Roger the Moore's shot. there smoking a cigar in the yeah. corner. It's like Thunderball. <laughs> Sure. I didn't enjoy it. Yeah. I didn't. It wasn't. I didn't enjoy yeah. those well, levels. Well, it was just the fact that true. like they kind of they'd lost me with the storyline. I think yeah, that, that was the thing what, for me. Was, you're shooting like robot Nazis. At what point do you think? <laughs> oh, this is too far. I can't. I can't buy into this. It wasn't like. Oh yeah, I'm finding this realistic. Oh yeah. <laughs> then they go to the moon. <laughs> but it was more like kind of like. All oh, right, now we're in the moon. There was no kind of lead up to it. It was just kind of like, yeah, we need to get those nuclear keys that are uh, that, from the moon. They're, they're only they, up they, on the moon. They keep them on board. We're moon. living in a sewer, yeah, yeah. but we can manage to get ourselves up to the moon. Yeah, exactly. oh, I mean, that was you say that, but also like, if, so the sewer. Are you in Paris? No, it's Berlin. Berlin. Oh, you're, yeah. in Berlin. you're under the very noses right. of, uh, of Hitler himself. So you're in He's Ber- not in it. So you're in Berlin, you're stationed there, and then you go off and do your missions. But the missions are like London, the moon. And like you can sort of go, oh, we've got to go and take down the thing in London. Hop in the car. It's like, <laughs> well, you drive from Berlin to London. Yeah, and yeah, not yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> How much is the Eurostar at this point? <laughs> yeah. 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 Sorry, they have a very efficient Eurostar in that era. <laughs> but, you know, but, the train mission really annoyed me. I think that's where that... Lost me. Like you, you know, you're trying to get a uniform 
to get to the moon, right? You need this uniform. Okay, it doesn't sound too awesome. Like we could, have, made, we could have just sewn one together. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. But we've crashed a train, <laughs> and then we're in a helicopter. Okay, we're in a helicopter. Nice one. Yeah, this is going to be really easy. Oh, there's the train. That's good. No, you're going to oh, you, you're going to drop me in the wreckage, <laughs> and there's about 15,000 Nazi soldiers. <laughs> okay. um, I'm just going to question that decision now, um, and I think we probably need to have a discussion about yeah, it. Yeah, let's sit down, discuss it. And I'm going to push back, and you know, we're going to have a <laughs> constructive conversation. <laughs> you know, they're all already shouting insults to me. <laughs> I can hear them. <laughs> I'm going to gut you like a bit. Oh, shut up. We're having a team meeting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're on, you're on a helicopter with a massive machine gun on it. And he yeah, says, yeah. I'm just going to drop you off here, right? <laughs> like, like your dad <laughs> dropping you off at the local disco. Yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. Be back at, I'll be back at, what, nine? <laughs> it's just killed the Nazis. Get out of the working fine. men's and I'll uh, come back after a couple of hours but, of porter. You know, like, no, you're not. You're going to you take, take me to there and you're going to wait outside, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> can we go back to sex? the first sex scene? Oh, oh yes, we yeah, can. Yeah, we can. Yeah, I've, got, yeah, uh, go. I've got ten pages of notes on that. I've got pictures, annotated diagrams. It was very useful, actually. My mate, so that level starts There's no, There's no boobies in it. Though is it? It's all pixelated. It's no. all tastefully done. Side Taste. boob. I didn't the see it. side no, boob. Yeah, there's a bit of side boob. Really? No, but there's no, just, there's no full well, frontal. There pixels. Very, there's no full computer. frontal, is there? It's very. Yeah, there's, oh yeah, there's nothing. Very tasteful. Well, you could record it on the PS4. Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, you could live stream uh, that bad boy. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so anyway, so, um, so that level, you start off on a train. And then you get two cups of coffee for you and your lady friend. Oh, this is when Fro Angle comes Fro in. Angle. Yeah. Oh, the first is the first. But she's, she's, she's really horrible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's a nasty piece she's of work. She's really horrible. She's got for a, a Nazi, she's all right. Oh, but, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> but she's got a, her like lover or whatever with her. Oh, uh, Bubby. Yeah. I like yeah, Bubby. Yeah. He was the Did best he? character. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure his heart was in it, but anyway. <laughs> also, the bit towards. Well, anyway, I won't, I won't spoil the bit with Bobby. But I'm not convinced he was really into her. No. Well, if you read his bio, though. He no. No. The... <laughs> no, 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 no. Did you go down Come the on. library? Like, <laughs> there was a history you of Bobby you could come across. Bio. I don't know why my voice has cracked until I said the word Bobby, but it did. You're embarrassed and God, and I also love Bobby. Uh, yeah, um, he was very um, strange, wasn't he? He was, he was basically uh, unloved by his parents. And then he oh. was failing at school. Yeah. And then he got picked up at, by at this school, and he uh, Frau Engel was like a teacher there or something. And, yeah. he, and, he, and he attached himself to her, and she was like his oh. mother and lover at the same time, like mother and lover. Mother yeah. And it was a bit. It was one of those. Wow. It was a Freudian and Freudian thing, you know. Right. Anyway, that's me. And so, Bobby. so you get these two cups of coffee for you yeah. and your lady friend. Nice machine. I mean, it's not instant coffee. It's good, like yeah. proper espresso. Yeah, he so breaks it. He does the whole video game thing of hitting it, yeah. and it and it stops. It's proper yeah. coffee, right? Yeah. And then you get stopped by Fro Engel, who plays a little game with you, and there's a gun there, and she gives you cards, and you can mm -hmm. choose which card you prefer. Yeah, yeah which makes no difference. Does anybody, did that, no, anybody fail that? I didn't I, know. I, no, I didn't. I, the first time I picked the cards, the second time through, I picked up the gun, and she says, oh, you will be shot if you pick up the gun. And she was right, I got shot. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, uh, she calls it like she sees yeah, it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so you get these two cups of coffee. you pick up the gun. Mm. Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you get these two cups of coffee, uh, both black. I mean, you didn't ask a girl. I'm impressed she played it both through uh, twice. He had a small, um, first part. If I can just inject there, yeah, yeah, uh, Jack. Yes. Uh, she, he had a small milk on the tray. So just want to make a correction. Well, no, that's good. Yeah, you're the milk analyst. Uh, so then you take it through to your um, girlfriend as she's at this. Well, you're not really. You're not no. really boyfriend girlfriend. Yeah, they've not talked about it yet. No. Well, you've been through. It's a bit of an awkward this conversation all... between the two people. Oh, yeah. So then, yeah. so is this their first sex scene? Yeah, yeah you've been through uh, a horrific okay, scene. Okay, you've okay, chopped okay. the guy's head off with yeah. a chainsaw. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you do do that, don't you? Yeah. 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 All, so then... all the um, the, the Spoiler reactions alert. for uh, love. I don't remember yeah. <laughs> it's the only thing that gets him hard anymore. <laughs> yeah. So, so anyway, so you get a coffee and you go back to the room. She says, "Oh, come into the room." So you come into the room. She says, "Oh, you've got some coffee. That's great. Yeah, Brill." And she says, oh, there's only one bed. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and throughout the whole thing, Luskowitz is just going, yes. <laughs> yeah. I thought, has he been taken over by a robot? He, so he basically is a robot. But anyway, so he says, yes, there's only one bed. And it's like, bam. Yeah, like, yeah. She's riding him like a sort of fleshy roller coaster. So what you're saying is what happened to the coffee? <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the shot is the coffee. In the foreground, still hot. And I'm sat there playing the game thinking, well, that's going to go cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my main concern. <laughs> Drink the coffee, then have it. Course. Yeah, that is, also, that is a waste. Yeah, yeah, they haven't, they haven't had their caffeine to keep them awake all night. They, also exactly. didn't, they didn't do a scene <laughs> yeah, in the morning yeah, yeah. when they're yeah. just smoking cigarettes either, did they? But they should have done that, really. No, yeah. yeah. But also, that hot coffee, is that like a 
GTA. Oh yeah, oh. maybe. Oh, oh, I like that. Interesting. This, this is Probably an amazing not. little bit <laughs> of <laughs> digging. Here on <laughs> <Scoops. Yeah. laughs> and uh, and you know, like then there was obviously the one later on, a little bit more brutal, um, <laughs> <laughs> on a table with a comedy kind of reference. <laughs> it's just like. Why? Why is this? Why is this happening? Well, she's, he's yeah, ploughing, yeah, yeah. basically. Yeah, I mean, he's banging her on the <laughs> she table. She loves it though. At the same time, well, well, she's not I complaining. Mean, you know, I mean, no, it, well, that would be yeah, that'd be odd. <laughs> yeah. She'd go, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I would lose sort of uh, empathy yeah, for the character. <laughs> but also at that point, he, so they're like, he's ploughing into her. It's quite. <laughs> It's quite. It's quite violent. Episode one of Quentin. <laughs> yeah. The final episode. It's, quite, it's, it's not like sensual. And he's no. going. I oh, want to know. This is forever. I really like you. And he's going. Bam! 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like this is not a sensitive moment. No, no. And it's like what we're we supposed to take for that. Like okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I, that didn't even click with me that. Because uh, he then goes, oh yeah, I want to see her forever for the rest yeah. of my life. Ah, uh, we're not even touched well, on his little inner yeah, monologues yet. I don't oh, really believe yeah. that relationship right now. So far, you just shot a load of guys in Shagdo. I think we should right move. Right. I want to read out some. I don't know how far are we into this, guys. We're, we're quite far in, aren't we? Three we're like fifty out, fifty thousand minutes. Six minutes. That's six minutes. minutes. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I think we've so lost everybody be, right now. I first of all want to mention. <laughs> and again, spoiler alert, the final boss is like fighting a guy called I'll do spoiler. called Death's Head in a <laughs> giant metal robot suit and it's really freaking irritating. He looks oh. like Jim Bowen. But before we all talk about this, <laughs> it does look like Jim Bowen. Like <laughs> inevitably, you beat... That's not a problem, by the way, that he looks like Jim <laughs> no. Bowen. Maybe Jim, uh, more. Also, Jim Bowen is not a Nazi. God rest his legs. I disagree. If he's not dead. He is a Nazi. Let's just make that absolutely clear. <laughs> um, Nazi. What I want to say is before we talk about that shit boss fight is that straight after, <laughs> well, killing, straight after killing the boss of the game, yeah. Yeah. you then go into this like, this is for the heroes kind of final yeah. like it's so emotional and you're like I've just killed a man in a giant mechanised yeah, warrior yeah. suit who is putting a brain into oh, a robot Ramstein, and not. then the next <laughs> no but no but then the music's really emotional afterwards yeah, yeah. and then the whole game gets really like no oh, this is for the fallen of like the real war almost yeah, and it's like yeah. this is so in bad taste right now I don't know what yeah, to yeah, think yeah. about this right now it's shit this is so it's far really <laughs> bad but anyway let, uh, let's talk about the boss fights and the, so the well, song yeah. does sound I, I thought it was I believe I can fly by R. Kelly <laughs> which <laughs> for me amazing. would have been a positive <laughs> that would be great now the boss yeah. I found the boss fight extremely irritating yeah. I think the first section more than anything but again that was back to the game mechanics so like you, you, yeah. had, you, also, like, you played it, I think I played it on normal, you played it maybe on the easier setting at this that, point. Yeah, that but point. But you still yeah. had the two blimps to shoot two Oh, big, yeah, you still had two blimps to shoot. Okay. I think the thing that, that irritated me, though, is... Now, it could have been, uh, it could have been me just being crap. Possibly. And it, uh, it, <coughs> well, let's go. It, it was probably uh, me being crap. But yeah. when you had to run to the, um, the turrets... So you're running to the turrets, and no matter how fast you run... Right, okay, you're holding the button to run... And there was always something that stopped him running. Yeah, I always yeah, found yeah, that, and I was yeah, like, yeah, "All right," yeah, and, and, yeah. I'd, and I'd be like, "Fuck's sake!" Pressing the button, pressing the button, constantly trying to run. And during that time, you're getting gunned down because it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's well, he has two <laughs> automated, <laughs> yeah. the biggest guns in the world ever trademarked. Yeah, exactly. basically. It's, not, it's not taking yeah. you long to lose all that. But then not only that, but when you get to the gun turret, unless you're directly facing the perfect point on the gun turret, yeah, you can't get on yeah. the gun yeah, turret. Yeah, the little yeah. steps. Somewhere like fucking running yeah. around, pressing the, yeah. the square. He's got button. his little steps so he can rest his bum on it and everything. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just like, this is so irritating. I think the guy's in a rush, right? I know this is me controlling him. But he must be. Come on, he's like, eight. Hey, let's shoot this fucking guy go home. Yeah, he oh, must. Oh, I'm in such a fluster. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I've had enough of this. He must be thinking at a point, like, whether I'm controlling him or not, he's thinking, I know what this guy wants me to do. He wants me to get on that turret and shoot that blimp. But at the yeah. same time, unless I'm directly facing that yeah, turret yeah. in exactly how I want to do, I'm going to get a shot in the ass. <laughs> you know, and it was just like, it was th those kind of things. And there was, I, you know, my, my girlfriend came in and I was just like, I was so pissed off that I couldn't talk to her. And she was like, and, was, <laughs> and she was just like, uh, just saying like, oh, I'm just, just off to bed or whatever. I was like, yeah. Fuck you! I'll see you in a Don't second. Don't come near me. <laughs> yeah. I'm very pleased to say I played that bit when my wife was out of the house, so she didn't get yeah. to see me in full steam in frustration mode, smashing things about doing that with the PlayStation yeah. control. I mean, all to all boss fight, uh, boss-related people who are going to be bosses in games, 
don't build a complicated system that I can beat. You know, mm. you know, don't have two zeppelins powering yeah. your shield. Although speaking you've of got which, two guns, you're going to kill me in about ten seconds. Exactly. Yeah. You know, you don't need shields. Although, yeah. just to sort of go off topic a bit, obviously you're shooting blimps for the boss fight, which you do in um, Bioshock Infinite as well. And that was uh, a, that was a really shitty boss fight. Yeah. Spoilers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, spoilers! Oh, you can't spoil another game. Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, Pac-Man. Although a game, a game yeah. set in the air, it's probably no surprise it's yeah. got blimps involved at some but, like, point. Don't, I, I mean, what do we feel about boss fights? Sometimes I feel they're just, oh, they're, they're just they generally I'm, I'm suck. crap. Aren't they? I'm even slightly now dreading like the Mario and Zelda ones where it's three hits and you're out. That kind of one. Oh, I, it's I, just I, like I, sometimes you just feel this is so cheap. Like I've gone through this whole experience, and like, okay, I kind of got it in Half-Life Two. It wasn't my favorite bit of the game. But there was a boss in. Oh, there, there's yeah, a thing that you, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. The spinny thing. I forget what stuff. that is. It was like, yeah. but like at least it was fairly. You build your way up the thing, and it made sense. Sometimes it just feels like, oh, <coughs> something's going. Oh shit, we need a boss fight, right? Um, okay, but well, let's get glowing orange bits on some shit fucking massive thing. Well, this game didn't actually bow to the god of glowing orange. Oh, bits. Yeah, yeah, it did. I've got. Yeah, it did. It's it's L- London Monitor. That. London Monitor. London oh, it did. Oh, I forgot about the London Monitor. Yeah. That was really bad. Yeah. <laughs> it took me ages. Though, though, I still, I still prefer that stuff than to the the very last boss. Like, at least I know I'm progressing. Whereas the last boss, I'm thinking. I'm launching God knows how many rounds into this yeah. guy. Th- this guy throwing so many grenades. At him. That is, and, and yet suddenly, I have no idea how far I'm getting. Yeah, it suddenly it just falls. I no, thought for ages was I wasn't there. even damaging it. I thought yeah, there must yeah. be something clever, or like clever, I was supposed to do because yeah. I hit it fire. so many times. Why is the fire coming oh, out all of a sudden? Because yeah. you hit the pipes, duh. Yeah. <laughs> it's this so is, this bad, is isn't it? I mean, like there was a lot of like that kind of just. Just things that just were not sign boasted clearly at all, and you you're like, what is this? But yeah. then we gamers are well, gamers is a really bad term, but we're 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 hard to please because one hand we're saying no shiny bits, please. Yeah. I'm a man, I can think where to shoot it, and then on the other side yeah. we're going, God, he doesn't give me any indication of where but, to shoot. No, it. but but that, that's what I was saying. I prefer the London monitor. At least I knew that I was I was progressing. As much as the yeah. shiny bit thing is a bit kind of like well, it's a bit contrived to a degree. And, and, what annoyed then, me about that bit was shooting it up the bum at the, the last oh, bit. Yeah, you had that, to yeah, do. Yeah, that, 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 that was, <laughs> That, that was bollocks. So, so, that, that is a surprise. This yeah. is a metal bomb, by the way. It's not like a anyway. Anyway, but speak, like the, yeah, yeah. you know the um, like I know you you I played it on PS3. You played it on PS4. PS3 version is so full of bugs. I mean, like there's this two bits in the game where you know it's quite a common thing. And it just completely breaks, and you the only way you can so it's like um, you go up to a character, you go to a cutscene, and you basically just stuck like this. And it happens three times, and the only way you can beat it is by doing a running slide into the character and pressing the X button. And, and this then, isn't known for everyone. Yeah, it's, it's, it was all over the internet. I mean, you you sent me the thing with that. I fixed yeah. it for you, like yeah. like, like, like uh, Jim. Jim. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we we do not agree with. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> He's not in the game either. I, I, didn't, I, I didn't see any bugs in <laughs> the, the PS4 version. No, thought, apart from, uh, yeah, at was... one point, the bloke got stuck in the wall and was like... Oh, yeah, like, <laughs> I, like, I, like, I love those glitches. I, do, cool. I, do, I really do feel like we need to start saying some positive stuff because at the moment, it sounds like we hate yeah. the I game. Like well, 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 wait, 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 oh, yeah, I actually I did like the game. Do you know what the, let's let's read what others said about the game because there were some good reviews out there and yeah, then we can yeah, maybe take... Yeah. So this is, you know, I, I think... And and viewers and listeners, at some point in the future, this can be you in this section saying what you want to say. You. We're, pick, we're picking on Edge, IGN, and Gamespot right here, but this could yeah. be you. No one's going to write in now. Are they? Where are you Follow. going with this, Mike? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> There's no one here. So man. Edge, let's just say, Edge, Edge, say every cutscene is a melodramatic pleasure. Well, that's bollocks. Every moment of play, driven by the desire for revenge, the story so effortlessly instills. The tale is schlocky and serious by turns, but it's never less than affecting, and the delivery throughout is near faultless. Mm. <laughs> Who wrote I agree that? With it, I agree with Edge. It's Edge. Edge. Yeah. Edge. I don't want. Not uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not dicking all over these guys. I just. I, I just. I just feel like this is. This is strange praise. Well, for I did not see any of that. I did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. That was my voice, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't sound like you were saying that very seriously. I was saying it in the voice of Edge. <laughs> <laughs> but you and me both review games. You know, like how long, it, how short you have with the game to actually make that thing. But I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah but I think. Problem. I think you were. I think you're right. I mean, I think the the kind of the thing that left me so hollow about this game was. I mean, obviously, I was really annoyed by the game mechanics at times but I think it was a story left me hollow but do you know what 
for probably 80% of the time, I didn't quite enjoy it. Yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, like, I enjoyed, like, shooting people in the face. Sure, um, who doesn't? You know, I mean, like, <laughs> if I just want to share some of my uh, stats, see, you get, oh. like, a stats breakdown. <laughs> I wish I'd recorded yeah, my yeah, stats. No, I didn't no, even no, think yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, I, I shot... I shot 56,232 bullets in this game. I assume that's enough to fill an Olympic swimming pool with bullets. I died 132 times, but I killed 1,124 people. Nice. I mean, that is a genocide, isn't it, I've really? Got, I, I have got to say, like, um, in fact, I remember talking to you about Destiny, which a separate thing altogether, but the thing that I liked the most about Wolfenstein was the fact how easy it was to kill a lot of the... The people, yeah, and there was something. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that really? I say it sounds so positive. Always a positive. Always a positive. So it was pretty, well, Destiny is pretty easy until you get that bloody tank and things. It's easy, but it's not like I literally put in two rounds and they're dead. Not two rounds, sorry, two two bullets and they're dead. There was something about Wolfenstein. It's really round satisfying <laughs> <laughs> because a round would be like the whole lot of bullets. Oh, well, all right. So yeah. I'm not putting two rounds into that. Anyway, this is the uh, well, that's the magic. A round is one bullet. In it. Yeah, we put the round into the chamber, not fire it, dear, because. No, anyway, anyway, anyway you can... it, it was something really satisfying about the fact that you could I just love like guns, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> yeah. You could just shoot. You could just shoot these like these people very very easily. They go down quite easily, and there's something very satisfying about that. Even I, I'm going to sound like I'm actually a bit of a murderer, but it's the, the noise, a bit <laughs> of noise. Murderer, yeah. Yeah. Just dumb, like, dumb. I'm the half noise, a murderer. The noise it all made, all that kind of stuff, was very the noise? satisfying. Yeah. yeah, yeah, just the noise oh, yeah. of shooting people. Of, the uh, bullet on, yeah. Yeah, and also it. like there's good destruction in the, the environments, but also bodies that yeah, like, actually, yeah. fall the, the, apart. Um, you can I make people sort of hobble a bit, can't you? Shooting someone's head last... off is still a bit of a civil through. And it probably was the last level. Where there was do that, that in real life. It's going down. There was yeah. that sort of matrix thing where you take out a lot of the base, the, the walls and stuff whilst you're shooting. It was basically yeah. it was basically yeah, the, the matrix, but with mechanical destruction and stuff is yeah. I thought that was quite good, and it was it was very satisfying. And actually, I think that's what kept me going through the game was actually all that kind of stuff. Stop it! No, that's fine. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't my pleasure for for murdering, um, but it was, it's okay. The Nazis, um, but there was the. Um, <laughs> They've got families. But then I, I, I don't like. I don't like getting to yeah, having those games where literally you'll have to you blast through a shield. And actually, that was always the thing that I had a ever so slight issue with um, with Halo actually, um, which is going to piss people off. But I think Halo. Um, I found that quite unsatisfying shooting people, and same with Destiny. Obviously, made by the same people because they're yeah. aliens and not people. You that like you it. like ripping apart real people. Yeah. But, you know, seeing... but you know, uh, yeah, that is it. I actually, I actually thrill. do. I, I hope I'm on your it's side. Not, it's, then. Not, it's not a thrill. In World War Three, we're on the same team. <laughs> it's not a thrill. <laughs> it's not a thrill, but it's more satisfying. Yeah. It's definitely no, more I, satisfying. I get that. I get what David's saying actually. Because like, I, I think I also am not a big massive fan of Halo series. I just it just doesn't feel. Impactful to me. Controversial. Uh, yeah. well, it is yeah, controversial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been playing I mean, I, I, the Master Chief Collection. I, 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 I didn't still enjoy the Halo. I still enjoyed it. Um, but I think it, there was something less satisfying. And yeah. there is something much more satisfying with things like Wolfenstein. Because, I don't know, and, and, and same with Call of Duty. I don't really like the, the recent Call of Duties and stuff like that. But there is something very satisfying about the actual the gun mechanics and stuff like that. And I think they've got yeah. that right. And I think they have got that right in Wolfenstein. I think there is, yeah, it does feel quite sort of punchy, doesn't it? That's yeah. it, yeah, yeah. And I think if you if you pick this up for like second hand... Uh, for like 10 or 20 quid or something I don't think you'd necessarily be massive well, this is the thing we're running through it in, in as short a time as well actually we weren't we were, we were trying to play through it in a, in a fair enough way because that's what yeah. we're trying to do we've got yeah, our continue yeah. we're not trying to do the traditional games journalist thing of just getting through it and, and basically yeah. getting your review out we've had a bit of time to consider it yeah obviously you're not going to come to us for a review but I think it's got a plenty of it? it's got a lot of content in there uh, well, you, it's got it's got two it, timelines. It's got two. Well, yeah, we don't. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, god. Yeah, yeah. So, so basically, so, so. <laughs> I'm still, by the way, I don't think, <laughs> I don't think nice. it's got two yeah, timelines. It's got two timelines. <laughs> right, okay. It's got two timelines. Like I me mean, blinking yeah, now right. or right. now. Everyone, has got. everyone, shut up. Right. So, <laughs> so at one point, it's in the first level. Uh, Nazis, Nazis, Nazis. Um, and then basically, you have a choice. So you're sort of running into the first level with a team, uh, of which you know nothing about and don't care for any of them. Both of which save your life at some point. You got yeah. th- You're in a plane. Not bothered by yeah. that. It's a war. Right, Deal right. with it. Yeah. Okay. So um, die, Jack. So so Fergus saves you in the plane, and then Wyatt, the other guy, saves you from yeah. the robot Nazi dog. So and so, who who you know. Captain Nobody. <laughs> They're so soulless. So anyway, so then later on, you're stuck in a situation where uh, Deathhead, the main uh, oh, he's, villain, is a nasty yeah. piece. Jim Bowen, horrible bloke. 
Uh, I wouldn't trust my kids. He's quite with intelligent, him. though, isn't he? <laughs> he, he does, does know his stuff on science. He does know yes. how to build ridiculous robots and put people's brains in them. I'll give him. I'll give him yeah, that. He's, he's, he's <laughs> a whiz. He's a whiz. He, he he imagine to, he manages to pull people's <laughs> brains out with the brain still technically intact yeah. and working yeah. and can talk via a robot. Just yeah. put that. Out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say it. He looks good in an apron as well. So at some point he captures you all. Spoiler alert! But we've discussed that a thousand times already. And then he he makes you choose who you want to kill. So you've got the choice of Fergus is this kind of wise cracking Scottish guy and Wyatt is this kind of simpering I, 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 I chose Wyatt I chose, I chose simpering why do you hate Scottish people so much I embrace their Scottish brethren but, oh, but in that instant I I it felt the game was forcing me towards that guy so why? I went I rebelled against the game yeah that, that's quite interesting because well, I thought I can't imagine anyone else has gone for has chosen the other guy because I just instantly thought well Fergus is the only guy that's made an impact on me. Yeah. Whereas this yeah. other guy, I think, well, well actually, I can, uh, as much as I'm quite unemotional about these characters, I'm slightly more emotional about Fergus because at least he's done something. Well, Whereas why, the other guy, well, saved whatever, your life. Good. But did, uh, did <laughs> how quickly you forget? Why? Yeah. Did, did, oh, did, yeah, he, did. Did. he so, distracts the robot dog, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. This is this is terrible, yeah, yeah, yeah. spoilers. But uh, like, so Wyatt basically in that timeline he wigs out when you're in that like the sort of hub bit where you're yeah. underground, the Berlin bit, and you go into his room and he starts going, "You should have saved the other guy, man. You should have saved the other guy." He didn't oh, say yeah. it like that because he's not American. Yeah, sure. no, but, oh, he yeah. probably is American actually. But, but, I, um, uh, but basically, so what happens? Why I want to ask you is what happens with the other guy at that, that point? exact same thing. Oh, but he does yeah. it in a Scottish accent. Oh. <laughs> This, this is what I That's mean. so disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I mean. Right, who's, who's got the best Scottish accent? <laughs> I think we're finished here. Let's go. <laughs> but in that scene where you got, so basically you got Death's Head, who's the main villain. Yeah. He's got a scalpel and saying, "Oh, which one should I kill?" And he's like, he's got a scalpel. He's going to take their eyes out. I mean, he's also going to take their brains out. Yeah. He's, he's a nasty piece of work. Yeah. He cuts. <laughs> it, like, it, it tastefully cuts away at that. Bit. Tastefully, yeah. yes. Good point. But did, uh, I just stared him out. Well, that's what I did. Yeah, he did that as well. He kills you. Yeah, what? then he kills you, and you're like, "Well, why can't I just stare him out forever?" Know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Until one of you wastes away. I thought <laughs> I thought he would do both of it. I thought he would kill both of the guys if you did that, not just yeah. kill you. Is that, is that what you would have done? But Mike? The, the game couldn't let you do that because then you'd have like no no companion. Well, you could have had a third choice. So oh. so so yeah. So you, so you have death said for the rest. Basically, of the, game. the, the game is trying to him. make out like there's a moral choice there, when actually there is <laughs> no moral choice. Yeah, actually, I, think, I think that Come bugs on, me a bit, actually. And it's the only choice you make in the whole game, which is yeah. also stupid. Well, no, yeah. it, there is there is another choice, isn't it? Well, oh, no, the train, no, sorry, the, uh, but the train. That's bit. not a real choice yeah, because there's no repercussions. Yeah, you can you can pick literally anything. But yeah, but yeah, I think I think that actually bugs me. Well, there is there is a. A thing where you basically you can either, um, what is it, uh, pick a lock or oh yeah. So if you oh, kill, if you right. if yeah, you yeah, save yeah. Wyatt, you get to pick locks, and if you the other guy does what? Yeah, you, wires. Like um, it's like uh, you pick wires together, and you basically and hot that, wire the panel. That with, is but it, it's still oh, with the it's still with the analog sticks. I didn't try it. I didn't yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got like harder. hold them up, and you got like. So it sounds like it's the exact lights. same yeah, yeah. mechanic, no, but it's just different. But there are certain things. So I played through the first part of the game the second time round and I saved Wyatt and so I got so in the hospital there's a safe they've got to hot wire when I saved Wyatt I couldn't hot wire it because I didn't have the skill but there'll be something else there'll be an equal yeah exactly I mean yeah I mean, it's, not it's like, based I mean I don't want to do the, the, the development team with this service but it sounds like they basically just kind of no, fudged that one really yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, someone said we need to get a moral choice in here guys and we went yeah. all right ooh. we've all played Mass Effect it's really good <laughs> yeah. you know I, I actually find that quite irritating in games myself because I'm when I complete a game, especially if I've put, I don't know how many hours into it, I don't want to play it again just to find out what else happened. I'd want, mm. I want to know. I mean, I'm, I'm, I know I'm the minority. Well, no, no, no I mean, I, I don't often play I games twice. Some will be interested I don't read books twice either. I mean, it's. But, that, but that's it. I, I just kind of think, like, you know, you've, you've done the, you've done the story. Why do you have to now do it with a different? You're not getting yeah, anything yeah. out of it. So and so, yeah. and I, I think the, the same with like a lot of. This is, I think, going on a separate thing. A lot of my problems with open, open world games, anyway. Is the fact that I think there's so much to do. I find it. I struggle a lot myself to go. Well, this I, I want to do all of it, but I can't do all of it. I want. I want to. I want to be told what's the best route because. <laughs> You know, you guys are the games developers. You tell me what the best fucking story is to find out. Why am I going to go find it? But I think like, Elder Scrolls like, is a good example of that. Like Skyrim, you can literally finish the game in about 15 hours if you just go bang, 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 bang. Oh, you can spend a thousand hours and you're still not finished it because you just explore yeah. the world. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. who's got... When I was a kid, 
<laughs> takes it back. Final Fantasy VII came out, and I did everything in that. I killed everything, all the weapons. If anyone knows Final Fantasy VII at all, did you have a girlfriend at the time? I did not have a girlfriend at the time, obviously. Says quite uh, a which does say everything. And I, I mean, I loved that game. I spent so many hours, but now I could not even try to put that many hours into a game it just couldn't i couldn't no, do no, it we were saying that like uh, dave and i were talking about um elder scrolls before and we were saying like when i played oblivion i put 150 hours into it and there's still loads of content i never saw but at the time i didn't have a girlfriend and i was living on my own yeah yeah skyrim came out i had a wife uh and i finished the game but i probably put like 40 50 hours into it I yeah, mean, the yeah. fact that you still managed to put four. That's still, yeah, hours, that's I, still I put like five into it. Yeah, 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 and I, yeah, I enjoyed the hell out yeah. of it, but I couldn't finish it. It was impossible. Plus, I was playing the really buggy PS4, uh, three version. Mm. Yeah, I, mean, I think life gets in the way, doesn't it? I mean, you can't, you can't. Life gets in the way you know, like, of video life, games. Uh, really important uh, stuff. Uh, uh, finds a way. <laughs> but for dinosaurs, it finds a way. Yeah, it does find a way, doesn't it? Oh, speaking of which. So <laughs> Jurassic right. Park. Yeah, Jurassic Park. So spoiler. There around. is a dinosaur bit. Yeah, there's a there's a, a, a yeah, go on, explain. Nazi dinosaur. I'm, I'm gonna spoil <laughs> I'm gonna spoil Nazi your spoiler yeah. in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't gonna say anything about yeah. Nazi yeah. Yeah. No, I was gonna say my only my only link to Jurassic Park is like so, so you see this um this woman what was her name? Fro Frey uh, Frau Ingo. So basically Mrs. Ingle. Frau Ingo. So, so, so you kill her like um, bed bubby. And then bubby. She, she looks really pissed off, guys. Yeah, She's yeah, like really yeah. mad. And then I thought, okay, so, the, so there's going to be a bus fight with her at some point. Game ends, nothing. Yeah, oh, yeah, so yeah. that's the most obvious sequel she's, setup. She's since. now going to be Hitler's Jurassic wife. Jurassic Park. Hitler's <laughs> wife, she's Ava Braun. What I'm uh, saying, that, 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 there, that. Is, there is a, a, an allusion to Jurassic Park in the game. None of you saw this, no. just me. Okay, so one of the posters, like you know, there's a little clickable posters and mm. snippets. Oh, one yeah. of them says, Germans have found the DNA of dinosaurs, say they can make like Jurassic Shut weapons. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, honestly. Oh, and they say something like it'll be called the Jurassic Front. You heard or something it here like first, that. possibly. Yeah. 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 The thing most shocking about this information is that you read those. Like, you yeah. guys, what did you do? Yeah, what did you do with this game? I could not read those. I, <laughs> well, like, I was playing it for <laughs> quit or continue. <laughs> like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> wasting my time. You're wasting your own time. Sorry, Joe, I could barely deal with the woman who was saying, who's sending me through those voicemail messages. Yeah. I was like, oh, oh I didn't do that. Yeah. But the thing is, you couldn't play those at the same time as walking, so I just like skipped. Yeah, them. no, that was it. That was <laughs> I was thinking, like, oh, every I two seconds, another one came in. At the same time, but I've got to stop, listen to it. Uh. Shall we, we have another Go on, opinion from somebody? Yes. So, GameSpot, 8 out of 10. Blaskovich is positioned as a lens through which you can see how the nature of first-person shooters has changed since his first appearance, that reference in Wolfenstein 3D or something there. Mm. Tonally, the result is an overarching sense that the world has left Blaskovich and his intentional lack of nuance behind. Uh, yeah. That's, uh, oh, that's, that's, that's kind of, not a bad. That's, that's yeah. I'm, not, I'm not dissing them. That's a good little comment on it. Yeah, that's, that's it, kind of, it kind of encapsulates, doesn't it? I mean, like... He represents the kind of Duke Nukem style hero, he does. but without the sense of vague humour. He's basically a cardboard cutout. <laughs> no, but he, he's the Doom vehicle. man. He's the Wolfenstein man, isn't he? He's that guy. Like he's, there's it. always those silent this, guys. This, this is... And even Master Chief is that guy, really. Yeah, yeah Gordon bring... Freeman as well. But the, yeah. the problem is, you, if you if you're going to do that, you have to have interesting characters around. And unfortunately, this game, if for one reason or another. If you just never care about any of them, well, really. I mean, so they've given Blaskovitz a, a, a voice, but he could have just as well been the silent protagonist. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. mean, what was he adding, really? Yeah, I mean, he didn't add really anything, did he? He's it's... just like this brick. Yeah. And yeah. he just kind he of waddles around. He's a generic brick. You know, he's like, he's one of many bricks. He's got a neck like a chimney. It's yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> he can bench press like a thousand. There's another one here, IGN. I didn't really notice this myself, but they say, Neil Berlin is frightening, frighteningly beautiful in its order and grandeur. Mm. Yet quainter picturesque moments can also be found out in the wilderness. For instance, when Blaskovitz escapes from a hospital in Poland, in, in po Poland? Poland. In Poland <laughs> early in the campaign and gets his first look at the blue sky in 14 years. Oh, I, didn't, uh, I didn't really know. All no, I noticed was just right. corridor after corridor yeah, after I mean, corridor. I would contrast yeah. this game to I reckon one of the, the closest thing to this game is potentially resistance and I think resistance yeah, no, does yeah, it definitely. better because resistance is a much more free flowing game the, you've got loads of weapons but it feels much slicker resistance than this and I think that's what you really get out of it I mean, I kind of vaguely bothered about the story of this, but I'm not really that arsed. There's well, a few good moments. They wouldn't like it because basically it's aliens and not humans yeah, that you're yeah, ripping yeah, apart yeah. in it. So. Any Nazis? 
No Nazis. Uh, <laughs> Although they no, are Nazi esque in there. Basically, it's the same. In, it's Do the same I, thing that these things have come in and took over the whole world. I can shoot Very aliens similar. as long as they've got shields and stuff, and it feels like I'm actually shooting them. <laughs> yeah. 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 Everybody's, everybody's revealed. Dave can shoot aliens. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, guys. Yeah, yeah, if they Dave. come down, Dave can shoot them. <laughs> so uh, I just think from 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 like if I was to play, if someone said right, you can play Resistance now. <laughs> even the first one against this, I would definitely say Resistance. Okay. Uh, Oh, right. I think we should move on soon, but if you, anyone's got more yeah, things off, they've got to get, they've got to bear oh, their souls. I've got Come a question. Then. Come on then. Oh so I was God. following the story quite closely until about halfway through when I thought, oh shit, I've got to finish this game. But, <laughs> so there's a love interest whose name yeah. I don't even know. Uh, Poland, I think she's called. She's called Poland. <laughs> Poland. I was, Poland. <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, you know, I'm plowing into her, I don't even know her name. So, so, so Again she's Poland. with the plowing. <laughs> so, so that happens to you often, it? I'm sure, though. So. <laughs> yeah. So then, <laughs> so then you go you go back to the the sort of uh, the hub world which has been overtaken by Nazis. You have got to save all your chums. So you go back, blah blah blah, and there's a scene where there's a woman and she says, "You go on, I'll deal with this situation." The situation being Nazis, and so she opens the door, she kills all the Nazis, she gets killed. And I thought, "Oh, that's my girlfriend. She's dead now. That's a shame." And then you go to the last level where you rescue a load of people from the prison. And there's another woman. I thought, wait, is this my girlfriend? Or is it the woman <laughs> back at the hu- Honestly, don't know. Like, yeah. who, was, who was who? who? Uh, the girlfriend uh, survives. She's the girlfriend's the, the nurse. Survives. The girlfriend's the nurse, I don't know. isn't it? From the, from the These place? Polish girls all the same to me. <laughs> what, <Yeah. laughs> one, one final thing I have to say, that, actually. Yeah. Okay, so at some point in the game, there's this ridiculous thing where they've got these powers. Like, there's this whole scientific thing where this... Secret uh, Society has these amazing inventions. And oh, they, yeah. And they find this yeah, suit, which yeah. is, it basically turns you into, like, an armoured god. Yeah. And they give it to this disabled lady, which is very kind of them. But I think <laughs> if, <laughs> if, it, go well. if they'd given it to Blazkowicz... <laughs> He would have just nailed well, all yeah, of it. He could have basically yeah. took out all of Germany on his own. <laughs> this is yeah. actually, I thought that. Like, like, why am I doing this? Yeah. Why isn't she going in there? She, she, yeah, turns, yeah. she turns and be like, you know, she's obviously a very hard lady and she's, she's been through a little war and got disabled <laughs> saving the world heroically or whatever she was doing. But yeah. then, so, and yeah, fair enough, they give her this too. But then she's able to just run into this room and kill everyone, rip them apart in a second. <laughs> like, Blaskovich is about. I don't, he's like the size of one of the trees of Lord of the Rings yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, he's it, but, he, but he's not in his trunk. But he's not in his Doesn't have a gold suit. If I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Maybe didn't fit. I, it, but, well, actually, fitted, looking well, at her in it, maybe not. It definitely wouldn't. Have I, but yeah. it was very clever. It it's clever like technology. <laughs> but then it, they never address why he doesn't go. Actually, yeah. I think I might work. To be it. fair, though, I don't think the Nazi world is step free. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's it's <laughs> not wheelchair accessible. <laughs> Like just borrowed it, <laughs> borrowed it for that one mission. Like, you know what? Can you just sit in your wheelchair whilst you're commanding me what to do? Yeah, yeah. Because she yeah. helps a bit. The in that, in that mission, not belittling you. We all remember the Paralympics. <laughs> we all got behind that shit. Yeah, but in fairness to her, in that mission, she helps a bit. She flies them in. Yeah. She, yeah, she, she jumps like, down and kills a couple of guys. Says, but then at that point, just go, here you go. Here's a suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Looks like she's just come from a free party. Because like we talked actually. We talked about Half Life on ketamine. We talked about Half Life an awful lot in this show, and one of the greatest things about about Half-Life 2 is that the end of that you kind of get uber powerful all of a sudden and you can like smash people around with that portal gun thing oh, and it's yeah. such I mean, it's kind of shit but it's kind of amazing that you get like this all powerful power and I was really thinking that that suit the way it was introduced was, was leading like, up to me at the end going be like the boom yeah. and punching like seven Germans but, out of the way and yeah, Nazis but, but, but when you first see that suit you don't even get dibs on it because you, you sort of go no, to that weird room Wyatt gets it in my yeah, gun yeah, yeah. yeah, so basically he sort of runs gone. up to him and goes well, hey, that's cool. yeah, so yeah, yeah, like, hang on a minute I just yeah. made the staircase appear and yeah, 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 yeah. that's, that's another really ages. annoying bit as well actually yeah the weird room bit I you know you had to you had to work out the what you pushed in the wall did that? Did that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got. <laughs> what did you push in the wall? What did you push in the wall? There was those things, those things, those dolls. You had to put them in. Yeah, they had no sequence. No, I think there must have been like. No, there was. I did it. I worked out the order. You had to push yeah, them no, in. Yeah, no, I worked out the order, but what did it do? You got a thing for the gun, like an, an extra bit I for that portal that. gun. Uh, the, not the portal gun, the, um, the blowtorch gun. Oh, maybe I did get that then. I just shot them and just jumped on them. No, no, not that bit, but there's another little puzzle where there's these things in grooves in the wall. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. and you really have to do them in an order, and eventually they light up in, in, in an order. But there's, no, there's nothing to say what the order is. It's not like a puzzle. I was no, no, it's just, thinking, it's just trial and error. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I was really looking around thinking, oh, there must be some kind of thing. Like, you get it in um, uh, Uncharted. Uh, yeah, which have got around, clever you see, puzzles. You see the puzzle, yeah, yeah. This game is not that level. I was walking around for ages thinking, oh, is there. Oh, no, they all look exactly the same. So I was just there going. 
Oh, right, that's the right one, is it? No, not that one. You just kept <laughs> yeah, yeah. doing this for ages. Thankfully, there's only about I five hope, of them. I, I hope there's something good at the end of this. And even <laughs> at the end of it, I didn't realise that that's actually what I, I, I can't remember what it. it was, but there was some little extra bit for your gun yeah. or some crap. Oh, God, or if it, if it moved the game on, if that was the thing that moved the story on, then it justified it. But I don't think that really justified it. It was nah. just a bit of a kind of thing they could put in. Well, there's a lot of just relevant stuff, isn't there? There's a lot of ideas that kind of go, mm, yeah, okay, that vaguely makes sense. But I think a lot of it felt a bit <laughs> unfinished, didn't it? Or not unfinished, but rather badly finished. Um, you know, I, I think that's kind of... You see that in a lot of games, isn't it? We talk about Bioshock Infinite. That feels like a lot of ideas that you want to do in Bioshock Infinite next don't you um, no not, not... it's not my choice All right, I'm just saying let's let's wrap this up then let's do our let's, choices well, let's, well no no we want to first of all we want to say <laughs> I want to ask you guys if you'll ever play this game ever again uh, I personally won't play it again quit or continue idiot. but no, for, no, no, for, no, and, no, I, and I will okay. say for the for the, the benefit of the one listener who's now switched off <laughs> you can hashtag quit or continue it's yeah. on this beautiful TV screen behind yeah. look how look how lovely that is so you can basically tell us if you hated the game, say anything to yeah, us. As, you can, as you a, can just say quit or continue as a one word, to us. As a one-word review, I'd, I'd give it a continue, mainly because I think it is actually good fun. I think I think there is there's fun elements in it, and it's not like it's it's you're going to be plowing sixty hours into it, which you do find with a lot of games. And I think oh yeah, I think it's I think it's worth playing. There's annoying things in there, but yeah, I'd, I'd definitely I'd recommend it. Actually. So you would say you'd play for it once. And if, that's I, if, probably... I'd, if I'd paid full price for that, I'd be pissed off. Oh, right. However, it was <laughs> twenty quid. But uh, is it now play. going back on eBay? Well, yeah, obviously I'm not. Okay, keep, so, I'm not so keep game. I wouldn't I wouldn't keep first person shoot game, which is just stored. So it's anyway. a one playthrough, is what we're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, of course okay. it is. There's no way you'd go through and do that. Whatever. The Andy, what is. what about you? Um. Yeah, I mean, like, I think I would, I would say to someone, yeah, maybe give it a go if you can knock it for like a ten or fifteen quid. But bear in mind, it is pretty annoying at times. Um, but I don't think you'd be wasting your money. I mean, there's certain games where I just say, just don't even bother with this because it's crap. But I don't think that that's the case with this. It's just a very odd game. It just feels like an odd game. It feels like a weird kind of. It's, I don't think it's Marmite. It's 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 just it's it's just. It's just not. I feel exactly the same way. It's like we've seen it all before, and it offers nothing new. Yeah, basically. So it's a half continue. So well, I I, I would say <laughs> tinue yeah. con con or tinue. If I had bought this game for twenty quid and I took it home, and it it basically gives me what I expect of a game that for twenty quid might give me, but I would never yeah. have seek. I, I'm glad I didn't seek it out. And pay full price for it. I'm going to ask you something slightly different. You can tell me that right. too. Yeah, yeah. But I want to ask you if you're looking forward to if you'd play a sequel. Oh well, that's a good question. Um, I actually think I enjoyed it more than you guys because you guys are shitting on it. Well, Dave, Dave's not shitting. Uh, on well, it. I'm not. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I think it's the best FPS this year. <laughs> oh my dear God! <laughs> yeah, How many know. FPS have you played this Just year? Just this one. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, no. But I, I, you know, I've looked at Destiny. That seems really soulless to me. I and I know you and you and Dave play. I don't know about Andy. But... It's it's not what it's advertised as. Yeah. I, yeah. I I will say I prefer this to Destiny. Actually, I think for me because this me, has got a plot and stuff. Whereas Destiny yeah, is just I like mean, here's Destiny, a planet, here's another planet. Des Destiny. I'd imagine Destiny. Now I haven't played. I haven't played like the multiplayer Destiny, so I can't give it. It's all more. You can't opinion. help but play it. On but, that, but that's it. It's so focused on the multiplayer. I'm thinking. Well, I'm, I'm walking around and I'm finding this actually quite boring because yeah. there's no satisfaction in in shooting a load of aliens. They do, all they do is they, they again it's that same thing they sit you in an area and go here's a fuck ton of aliens see how you deal with that yeah, yeah, if yeah. you don't deal with it you start from the beginning until you deal with it yeah. and it and it really frustrates me and I and I and every everyone I've spoken to who has started to enjoy it said oh from level twenty it really opens up well, yeah, that's yeah twenty yeah. hours at level twenty you and get I don't like want to put twenty hours into a game and go. Oh, here we go. Now it's got good. <laughs> but then value for money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For value for money, that's pretty good value <laughs> no, for that's money. That's not value. Because no, value for money for me would be like, you get it. Value for money for me is straight away. But it's it, good. that's it's, the issue though, isn't it? Because you are playing the game the way developers want you to play rather <laughs> the way that, you know, maybe you want to play. Yeah. I, I would say that Wolfenstein and Destiny are Oh, they're completely, completely yeah, opposite. Yeah, they're, they're, they're they're they completely might both different. be first-person shooters, roughly speaking. In terms of first-person shooters, if you're going for first-person shooter, then I think that I think it's a decent buy, actually. I, but I if you're just... looking at this, well, maybe the Metro Redux or something like that. Well, I haven't that, played that, that yet. Yeah. Uh, so basically, will you play a sequel? Uh, well, yeah, well, totally. Well. This for me is a continue to keep with the theme okay. of the show. Oh. Uh, will you buy? Will you buy the sequel the day it comes out? Oh, you no. wait. I would wait until it was reduced, and then I pick it up. I think we've all agreed that at some point Hitler's got to appear because. Yeah. Not in this game. Yeah. This game Come on, guys. He's not even referred to, is Where, he? Where is he? Yeah, yeah. 
Where unless, is Hitler unless in this, this game? Unless universe, he still killed himself in 1945. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he really, really badly timed it. Exactly, like. yeah. <laughs> the next day, they're like, oh, we won. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, th- I thought it was a fun uh, romp, if I can use that word. Um, a had, fun romp through killing that. It had its failings. It was a little absolutely, bit but like I, a Bronte. I really enjoyed it. You know, I thought it was a good game. So, yeah, continue from me. Okay, cool. Well, I think that, I don't know. I don't know what that makes it. You, well, it's, it's, you it's viewers either, can... <laughs> Neither quit nor continue. Well, you're, you can't <laughs> yeah, say it's yeah. more continue if you call it a cop. But if you have an opinion on the game, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tweet, please tweet us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Please, please listen. Hasht- uh, at actually, that should be an at, not a I hashtag. Think, I think that'll. Uh, I think people should have an opinion on this game because it's quite interesting that you guys really didn't like it. Yeah, no, I, it's, I, uh, it's divisive, I, I, I reckon. I and like I say, amazing reviews in the press on the whole. But so. the, yeah, the issue yeah, is, is like that's really it. crazy because like, like I enjoyed lots of it. But towards the end, I was like, I never want to play this game again. Actually, no, I, I, that was that's one thing I must say. Actually, the first three quarters of the game, I thought they were really good, and it was it was that yeah. last quarter. I just thought, actually, I don't care. Yeah, I even really... don't, I don't care if I even finish this game because yeah, it, it just it, it completely lost me. Um, but it, I, you know, I could still enjoy. So play three quarters as, as a <laughs> play three quarters. <laughs> yeah, the three last quarter, um, <laughs> quit. On the plus side, we all finished it, which is probably more than will happen in the future. Awesome. So like, what we're we gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna think about what game we're gonna play next. Yeah. There's only us here. There's no one. There's no audience at the moment. So first one, first ever second game. This is the first ever second game. <laughs> okay. That doesn't make any the sense. Last ever second but you know game. what I mean. So who wants to start? Uh, so I start seeing as you're looking at me. So um, I'll start. I'm always looking at you. Yeah. <laughs> it's Mr. Kind of, kind Turner. Of disconcerting. <laughs> um, so uh, my vote this week, uh, this fortnight, I should say goes to a little game I like to call Alien Isolation. Interesting. What do you think about that? Mm, hey? Yeah. Hey! Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. my reasoning for this is because it's Aliens, uh, yeah. which is you know, two, of the, two of the best films ever made. Nothing with Dave. Two and a half of the best films ever made. <laughs> um, and I guess next month will be... You know, it won't be Sigourney Weaver. What? Yeah. Oh. Be, no, unfortunately not. It'll be Tom Weaver. It'll be, <laughs> it'll be <laughs> <new>. brother. <laughs> um, no, uh, I think it looks... Interesting. So it's a stealth-based game. Yeah. It's quite a br- quite a break from shooting Nazis in the face. Mm. Um, I don't think you even get to shoot. Uh, you've got a gun, but it's quite ineffectual, from what yeah, I understand. Okay. So you're basically skulking Not around. The game right Which don't now. make much sense because <laughs> 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 yeah, let's do an hour about aliens. <laughs> in aliens, <laughs> uns, <laughs> those aliens get gunned down a lot. So, so basically, anyway. I, I, I think dry. I think I've played pretty much or most of the Alien games since uh, you know, the coming of 64 days. And have you played the DS one? The side scrolling one? Yes. By uh, Way Forward. I have played that. Cool. I've, 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 out. I've got that uh, one. I was going to play it. Yeah. Did you play Aliens or Colonial Moon? Yeah, I did. I played you, through you it. You did? Yeah. Did you, you did? hate yourself I played the whole, the whole flipping thing. Man, if that was on Quit or Continue, I guarantee you now I would not have finished All that right, game. Alright, fine. Yeah. But the best Aliens game ever is Alien Trilogy on the uh, PS1. Anyway, so that's neither here nor there. A bit of trivia for there, guys. Yeah, a bit of trivia for you. Check it out. But uh, I vote Alien Isolation. I used to like the light gun alien game. You ever play that in the yeah, arcades? Yeah, the arcades. That was great. Arcades. Yeah, oh, was in the, or the arcades. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone's, that, although this has gone completely off tangent, there's a yeah. Star Wars arcade game come out a few weeks ago that looks awesome. Really? Can we yeah. go to an arcade? Do a quick continue an arcade? Original Star Wars. Oh, we haven't got enough yeah. money. <laughs> I like that. Uh, I think you have to put like a fiver in the damn things what? these days. Didn't we all die over a hundred times? I mean, that would have cost us at least five hundred quid. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can die much on this new one. It kind of hands, it holds your hand like the, like the full you have to guiding. Pay five quid. I don't. Know. I'm, I'm making that up. I don't know what it might be. It's probably a lot though. Oh, you probably can't. You probably have to buy a ticket to go to America to play it first. So, uh, so <laughs> probably costs quite a lot. Well, I've been as our budget is zero. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll go next. Okay. Uh, as it's the uh, commemoration of the Great War, hundred years, I would like to play Valiant Hearts by Ubisoft. We probably please. should have worn poppies. Uh, it looks very interesting. Uh, I like the look of it. It does look very good. Dave. And that's my view. Mm. Uh, well, my, my choice was, uh, in fact, Alien Isolation the same. Copycat. Yeah. You have to change. The reason why is because I just think everything Jack says is fantastic. Mm. Yeah, and everything so, I say is fantastic. Uh, to explain the rules, I don't think we can have the same game. What? Really? People. Yeah. Uh, if that's the case, honestly, I can I can pick another game. No, 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 actually... no, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should have. You should have. To, let, let's say in the future, you have to have two games. So okay. One yeah, person yeah. We can all change the rules at any time. For sure. <laughs> well, there aren't any rules because we haven't really discussed it properly. I've just, I've just Wait, made. Well, I've well, just made the rules. Am I allowed to pick a game? Yeah, pick another one. 
Okay, if I pick another one, I'm going to go for Rayman Legends. Okay. Uh, the it's a good game. The, the, uh, the Rain Man or Rain Man? <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be an entirely <laughs> different. Yeah, awesome. Dustin Hoffman. The there is Gotta, watch Wagner. Gotta, Gotta watch Wagner. Gotta <laughs> <That was Cowie. laughs> <Cowie. Cowie. laughs> watch Wagner. Counting the matchsticks. Counting the matchsticks mini game. Uh, no, I'll go, for, I'll go for Rayman Legends. Uh, not, I don't think it's story based. I'd imagine it's probably not, but it's a platformer that I've, uh, I think, looks fantastic, and okay. I'd like to give that a go. Cool. Plant. Plant. I was going to say, well, I was going to say one of two games, Walking Dead Series 1, because I don't know if anyone here has played it, but it's, I've played a bit of it. Never quite I've finished it, it which I'd like I've, to do. I've played yeah, through it. You so beat it, okay, yeah. in that I, case. I, do like, I, would like, I would like to play it more of it. My other option is going to be, because I've not played it for some stupid reason, because it took forever to come out, and by that point, the world seemed to have moved on, but South Park, the stick of truth. Mm. It went through hell, but apparently it's awesome. Do what, which one are you picking? I'm going to pick South Park, The Sick of Truth. Who, who makes that game? That is made, well, it was like Trey Parker and Matt Stone wrote it. Sure, they're the guys. Uh, it was made by um, one of the guys, the guys who make a lot of RPGs. Obsidian? Uh, Obsidian. Oh, no. So we've got guys. two Ubisoft games, Obsidian. But, it, but for Obsidian. an RPG, apparently it only takes like a dozen hours to beat or something. Okay. It's not like a dead long game. Mm. So we've got South Park, we've got Rayman, we've got Valiant Hearts, and we've got Alien Isolation. So now we have to vote, and you cannot vote for your own game. Right, what happens if it's deadlock, and we, we all vote for different games? Well, then we a have to perform death. a song. <laughs> yeah. A song? Yeah, yeah. All oh, right, fine. You Whatever. have to hide this bottle yeah. somewhere about your Ooh. person. Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you drinking first? What are you guys all thinking about? <laughs> In that case, I vote for South Park. Yes! Why are we looking at me? One nil Okay, South Park. Uh, I can't. vote in. Can't vote for my own. I am going to go for Alien Isolation. Well, I'm going to vote for Valiant Hearts. <laughs> so, oh, hang on a minute. No, because... So oh, that means my, my, my... I have, You've got the casting I'm vote. like Lenin Strictly Come Dancing, which is showing that I am an old man. Oh, my God. Because I have the casting vote. Oh so, my man, God. What are you going to go this for? Is, this is... This is amazing. Oh, we could rewrite scary. history right here. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but you're obviously going to go for your own flipping game. No, because I can't. So my game's yeah. out. My game's out oh, for shit. the cast. That's why this is the perfect. So I, just a recap. I voted Valiant Hearts. Uh, I voted South Park. I voted for Alien Isolation. Right, so it basically comes down to Valiant Hearts or Alien Isolation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hoist. I reckon, I reckon Valiant Hearts is going to take less time. I'll just put that out there. But Alien Isolation looks pretty cool. But so I think Alien Isolation that. is actually going to have far Don't more coach to coach him. About. Let him make his own decision. No, 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 no this no, is part no, of the discussion. You know. I think. It's a discussion. I'm just annoyed I can't vote for South Park. That's the one I want to play. I think, uh, I think Alien Isolation is far more, you know, that's good. with the time. In future, your own game should probably cast as one vote. Just saying. Well, okay, oh, so we can, we can change the rules. Legends. We can change the rules. <laughs> no. Nobody wants to go for it. No, no, nobody wants to go for it. What? I, well, I don't know. So it becomes, for this episode, maybe we'll change the rules for the next episode. Who knows? But for this one, I don't know. I'm torn. I really am torn. Really? Alien, like really? Alien Isolation. Oh, hang on. I, uh, yeah, this, this is... Uh, yeah, talk, talk through your thought process. Uh, just a, who, who bought the drinks for this uh, podcast? <laughs> well, I was going to give you four pounds, but now you mentioned it, I won't bother. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Um, um, talk me you through your thought process. Why would you pick for either of them? Alien, I think, is going to get really boring towards the end, but I agree. <sighs> it might give a lot. Yeah. yeah. Valiant you... Hearts, I think, would be amazing, but... Maybe we should have done it this week when it was so like in the in the country's heart. Yeah, but it'll take literally. Dave about four weeks to edit this blooming thing, though, won't it? <laughs> oh, that's By that time, we should do a Christmas game, really. It'll be, it'll be <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that's a good old idea. Berry on high. Fuck it, we'll go for Alien Isolation. Right. Yes. Get in. I high five you, but I literally cannot reach you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's about Air high four five. tons of equipment. Nice. In there. Yeah, yeah, it looks I just as cool. Every finger. <laughs> this is gonna suck. <laughs> if this was Simon Cowell, Valiant Hearts, and I'd be crying in a corner somewhere. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, I think I'm going to hate everything about this game. Just putting that out there. Right I think now. I probably will too. But I do no, want to. I think I'm being too Why? Why would it? you hate I think it? It's be quite good. I wanted. To, I really, really it wanted to play it. Are you? Are you it, it look, I, I've read too much about it. Is the problem? I've read the reviews of it, so I'm biased. Read too much. Well, I use my eyes to read letters. <laughs> I would but take you down if you weren't wearing glasses so maybe I couldn't hear you from what I've read this is supposed to be the best alien game since ever right? since, <laughs> since sliced alien like ever exactly but since Jack, Jack there's Space never Saga. been a good alien game and I know you said well, what do you think Aliens vs Predator do you not think that's a good game I thought that was a great game high five 
Yeah, there we <laughs> go. Another one. Yeah, you two are like the. We should sit next to each other and tweet the knob. <laughs> that was a great game, Alien Isolation. I, yeah. yeah, no, I thought. No, hang on. Alien uh, Isolation. What have you said? Sure, I yeah. thought that was, um, in terms of tense games, I thought that was really tense. When, tense. You, when, when you played as a Marine, that was fantastic. It was good as a Marine. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like better than Colonial Marines, that's so the come on. All right, so we're going to play Alien Isolation. Come on, Aliens. Do you like the films? I love the films. There we go. So what? what the hell right, are let's from? do Alien Isolation. At least it means we can talk about the There we go. Films. Alien Isolation. Yeah. We should all watch Alien and Aliens too, just just so they're fresh Bang in our memory. Two. Just so they're fresh in our memory. So this leaves <laughs> us only to say, on Twitter, we are at Quit or Continue. Yeah. You can reach us on that. We will communicate the date of the next show on that. So make sure you know when to get your comments in. On Twitter. I am at Mike Plant GC. The GC stands for Games Catalyst, which was an old defunct website of mine, but it's still on there, like an old withered hand. It's not, hand it's not, it's not just on Jeremy it's Beadle. It's not a statement to the stock exchange. <laughs> you are. I cannot, let me see if I can. I'll introduce your guys once because I was that uh, organised. I actually wrote them all down. Andy it. is at Media Scribbles. Media Scribbles. Media Scribbles. How do you spell scribbles? Is that three B's? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> two B's. Spell the traditional 17 way. Three B's. <laughs> 17 B's. It's like Jack's, Jack's B's joke. It depends how, how much I'm emphasizing <laughs> scribbles. <laughs> Mr. Whiteman over here, Dangerous Dave, is at TLD Dave. Is that correct? That is correct. What yeah. does the TLD stand for? The TLD for? was my old band. Here's the background. Oh. My old band, The Light Divided. Anyone check out The Light Divided? Make us famous. The Light yeah, Divided. What was, your, nice. what was your best song? Oh, God, there were so many. I bet there was. Oh, God. Never going to give, never going to give. <laughs> Jack, handsome yeah. Jack over here, is yeah. QRC. He's actually banking on us being a success. Yeah. QRC at QRC Jack. Yeah. How are we going to end it? Hey, everybody. See you later. See you later. Bye, internet. internet. You've just <laughs> Great time. Let us know how you, uh, in the comments below, in block capitals, preferably. Yeah, tell us what wankers we are. <laughs> <laughs>